Last week, we were shocked that the rock and roll nurse was voted off American Idol. Take a look. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> From Mulberry, Indiana, please welcome Amanda Obermeyer. I love your show. Oh, thank you. Thank you, and I'm a fan of yours. Really? I am. That's exciting. And I'm surprised that you're here today. I really am. I did not think that was going to happen. Yeah. Did you? Uh, you know, I, I didn't... Uh... I don't know. I mean, I really didn't have any uh, preconceived notions of, you know, how far I was going to go. I, I really expected myself to be in the bottom half of the 12 just because I am so different than, you know, your typical American Idol person. So. Which is why I think everybody loves you, because you are different. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I just, um, yeah, I mean, it would have been... Uh, Nice to go maybe a couple more weeks, but I, I, I've kind of seen it coming, you know. Yeah. Within at least, you know, two or three weeks. So. Yeah, but see, I mean, I really do think that that's what's admirable about you is that you really were yourself, and you even told Simon you're, you, were, you were not going to alter yourself or your image to try to get more votes or to try to fit in, and you are who you are, and I, and I think that you've got an amazing voice. The fact you Were you a nurse full-time? Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I, uh, I did uh, home oxygen and durable medical equipment. So I... Um, Are you going to go back to that? Um, if uh, opportunity doesn't arise, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, hopefully I'll, um, I've created enough momentum that I'm going to try to do something with music. You know, yeah. I, of course, that's, you know, the, that was the whole objective of going on American Idol was to get out there on TV, get my, you know, my face recognizable, my sound recognizable, and then, you know, see if people would want to buy it after I'm done. Well, they will. They will. So... Yeah, but absolutely. I mean, if, if it ends up being, you know, like this is my little 15 minutes of fame or whatever, you know, I'll gracefully bow out and go back to doing what I was doing. You know, I'm happy with that too, you know. Yeah, but you're, I think, you know, you just need to get the right agent, the right person to put you on tour, and people, you will sell tickets, people will come to see you, they will buy your albums, you have, and what I like about you is you're, you're like this kind of rough rock and roller, and you can tell how gentle and sweet you are, you're like very shy and very, and it's a great juxtaposition, I really like it, you're, you're, Thank you. now, do you think that Simon is, is particularly mean this season, because I do. I think he, he, he knows who he can be tough on and who that's going to push and mm -hmm. then who, like, you know, he's going to back off on because he knows, you know, with their personality it might crumble him a little mm -hmm. bit. So, I mean, you know, he, he was hard on me a couple times, but, again, you know, I can take it. So it's like... Did he, did he say goodbye to you? Did he say anything nice to you when you left? Uh, he, he came down to the stage and, you know, gave me a, a hug and, you know, said that he, you know, enjoyed watching me and everything. And he said some other stuff, but I really don't remember it was so quick. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. I mean, in that you have to sing, all that stuff is yeah. going on. Well, yeah, that was great, too. I was, first thing I thought, they were like, man, you're going home. I was like, great, I don't remember the first line to this song. Yeah. <laughs> right. They don't have anything in prompter for you there to help you at a moment like that? Because that's uh -uh. a tough moment to start singing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, they should. I know.